And I came down. I'm trying to make y'all understand what I'm saying. Yo, yo, what's good? You already know it is. I'll pray to do to the most high, y'all. And let's hop straight into it, man. Weird things that women do when they reject handsome men. These are weird things women would do after the fact that they have rejected you. Now, listen, it's so funny because these women are mad predictable, dog. They're mad predictable at, at their actions and what they're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? It's just like if it's an opponent you're going against in sports and you studied all the film, you know he's going to go for the left right cross. You know, if you're in fighting or something like that, you know he finna go for this left right cross when he's on this angle. Or he's finna try to shoot for the takedown when he's in close range. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with these women. These women are very predictable when it comes to what they do when they reject, guy, reject guys that they know are handsome, that they know are attractive. And um, I'm gonna be giving you guys some things that they do that's real. It's weird because it's like, how I look at it is if a man did that, they would be looked at as weird. So it's weird in my opinion when a woman does. It. It's no different. You know what I'm saying? And so the funny thing is, is that if a man done any of these things that the guy rejected, he would be looked at as weirdo, as a creep, you know. And more than likely, to be honest with y'all, man, the woman would probably block you. You feel me? She would. She would literally probably block you. You know. If you was to do something like that, man, if you was to sit here and do all that extra stuff, you know, after the fact that she done rejected you, you know, she would literally like she she would literally guys like when I say she would literally be blocking you and just putting the word out that you are weird. She would be doing it, man. But it's just funny as hell how, you know, we have to just take rejection on the chin and keep it pushing. <laughs> but let's hop straight into it, man. Number one, this is the infamous. This is the literal creme de la creme, the top of the line of what she's going to do. She's going to continue to watch your stories, guys. She watches your stories for a multitude of reasons. One, she's trying to toy and play with you guys. She's toying with you. She's trying to get under your skin. She knows that you, she knows that her watching your stories, you seeing her watch your story, she knows that that makes you wonder. See, the worst type of position you can be in as a man when dealing with women is wondering something. It's being uncertain about something, you know, knowing that you can never have a certain expectation for a woman because they are wild cards, guys. So that's one of the reasons, man. She wants you to wonder about her. She wants you to still think about her. Next, guys, is that she's, she loves looking at you. I'm just keeping it a stack, man. She loves looking at you. You know, it's crazy, but it is what it is. She loves looking at you, dog. She reject you and everything, but she like looking at you, man. She still think you're attractive. She th still think you're a handsome man, and she wants to look at you. She wants you to be a part of her daily feed, a part of her daily entertainment. You know, she really wants to see you. She really likes you, man. She still, you know what I'm saying, wants to see you. Just because a girl rejects you does not mean that she don't like you. Does not mean that, you know what I'm saying, she doesn't find you attractive. These women just have crazy reasons for why they do these type of things. And last, guys, I will say this, is the hypergamy. She is waiting on you to become who you say you're going to be. A lot of these women that done rejected me, man, that leave me on red. Like, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm humble. Y'all know I'm raw with this, man. I get left on red all the time. And I know for a fact that I'm him. I know for a fact that the girl got interest, but just not right now, as they say. You know what I'm saying? Let me try to turn these lights on a little bit. Yeah, they gonna make me? Nah, man. We just we just gonna brighten up the threshold, man. Give me one second, guys. We're gonna brighten up the threshold. Okay, there we go. Cool. But um, listen, man. The thing is, hypergamy is just always kicking in. And um, what you guys must understand is that the hypergamy is going to take over at one point you know she wants to see who you're going to be like me i'm working out a lot i'm doing a lot of social media man you think these women ain't waiting to see me pop to see me hit 30 40k to see me just 
pop up and I've just got a big old house and I got a, another nice car and I'm just, oh, doing so great. Now, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? So those are some of the reasons why they keep watching your stories, guys, after they reject you. Next is that they will see you in person and act like nothing ever happened. Man, just as a matter of fact, guys, I believe that was Saturday. Just last Saturday, man. It's this girl that never takes me back when I checked up because I ain't even gonna get in that story, man. But I checked up basically. And you know what I'm saying? I was letting her know, like, hey, look, you know, you, you can't be doing that. But I checked her in a masculine way through a voice message, right? And so the girl, literally, now keep in mind, she's already doing everything that I told you. She's already looking at all my stories and she haven't texted me back. This is how predictable these hoes is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, these whores. I'm trying to be more, I'm trying to be more polite. But Y'all know me, I'm at take five, man. Take five, all day. I'm washing the car, and you know what I'm saying? I noticed how, like, when I was at the front of the car brushing it, like, the girl waved at me, and I'm like, like, oh, what's happening? You know, she probably just a random customer waving at me. And as the car is finally going through the tunnel, the friend in the back rolls down the window and says something, so I stopped the track so I can hear, and I'm like, huh? And she was like, my friend said she gonna text you. And I said, who's your friend? Now she got my number. She must she must got my number or something. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking that this is a choosing signal. So I'm like, hey. I'm like, hey, she must got my number or something. You know what I'm saying? If she say no, that's not gonna slide to that number. You feel me? But um, she was like, she was like, um, yeah, you know her. i like, no, I don't. i like, I don't know who that is. And um, I look, I said, oh, tell her just hit me. The reason why I didn't recognize the girl is because Instagram be lying, damn it. Y'all girls be lying. Y'all be having a lot of nerves looking like that on Instagram and in person, you drop two points. At this point, I'm gonna start putting in my damn uh, bio, bio, whatever the hell you call it. I'm gonna start putting, I'm seven damn foot. Knowing damn well I ain't nothing but five nine and five ten. And five damn seven with shoes off. Five, six, five, seven shoes off, damn it. So, I'm sitting there looking like, hold on, you mean to tell me that I'm sitting there thinking you like brown and your ass is dark? How the hell did that happen? I'm telling you right now, man, these damn women so clever with these filters that your ass would be thinking you finna go with a, with an eight, eight and a half, nine. Her ass show up to the date, you like, you lying to me. You better go and get that damn girl that I just seen on these damn pictures or else we finna have a problem. This is defamation of character at this point. Your ass lying to me and you lying on everything that's with me. At this point. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, where the bitch go? You feel me? Like, and I'm like, how does she know me? But like, when I looked at her, I said, oh, this is her. And on top of that, another thing I say is, they be lying about their height. They know damn well guys that are in the 5'8 to 5'10 range, even 5'7 to 5'10 range. Man, we don't want no tall ass. Man, we don't want no tall ass Shaquille O'Neal's, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I prefer my woman 5'7. I don't want no midgets either. I want 5'7. You can be 5'7, 5'8. But all that 5'10, 5'11, 6'. Man, this girl, I looked at her. This girl was a 6 foot light heavyweight in the UFC. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, man, you, you done. So, they will see you in person, man, and act like ain't nothing happened. Like, you telling me, oh, I'm going to text you, and guess what? This phone never rung. This phone right here never rung one time with a text from her. Not once. And guess what? I said, oh, well. But, just a side note, man, I'm going a little rant right now. I can, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I understand. Listen. You are not alone. I understand, guys, of why you will dislike women or why you don't want to dog women so much. Because of something like that, I told myself, you know what? Next girl I get, she going to suffer for this. It's just the evil side of me talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm going to lay it down and just walk out of the house. Sometimes situations like that make you want to do that. But they will see you in person, guys, and act like nothing happened. They keep trying to talk to you. I had one girl, she rejected me. God, she literally... Literally, guys, I was on the way to the crib. She's sending me her. She sent me her location. 
Literally, guys, I've never had that, never had this happen before. It's the first time. This girl sent me the location to her crib. I'm pulling up to the crib. I'm like, hey, because y'all know how it is. We black. A lot of us are black. We're going to call and make sure this ain't no setup. We're going to do the loop around the crib twice before we let her know we outside. And we're going to say, hey, I'm outside. We just want to make sure we ain't getting set up. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure I'm not knocking on the door with a damn double barrel shotgun in my face. You feel me? And I'm getting my ass whooped and throwing them a trunk. I'm just saying. But. I sit there, I'm calling, I'm like, your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Your call has been forwarded to, an I said, all right. She got me again. So yes, man, they will act like nothing ever happened. Even when they do that, keep in mind, the girl I just told you about, that girl, every time she sees me, every time she see me, she always trying to flirt and do all this and that. That's why, the, let me tell you, let me just to backtrack a little bit, guys. I had got so irritated with that girl constantly trying to go for that attention, constantly trying to act like ain't nothing left to happen that you just left me on red. That, guys, how we got to the point where she sent me the low and I was going to a crib, she had tried it again. Now, keep in mind, guys, let's rewind a little bit. This is before your call has been forwarded when she done gave me the location, but still didn't pop out. Now, guys, what she did was, and this is going to, listen guys, this is going to kind of link into two and three where these women will try to bait you again. So number two is that in person they will act like nothing ever, ever happened. And number three is that they will try to bait you again and they're trying to, they'll choose on you again and bait you to get you to go over there and get them some more attention. So let me tell you this with this old line manipulative, boy I ain't going to even say the word, but um. Now, this is how we got to the point of me getting her location and going to her crib. I had got so sick and tired of this girl. Instead of trying to use me for my attention, I walked up to her. I, I kid y'all not, guys. We in the club. I walk up to her. Listen, media walk up to her. I'm like, hey, look. I'm like, I ain't finna play no games. I'm looking all in the eyes, getting close to her, and she getting close to me. I'm grabbing all on her ass. Grabbing all on her ass. I'm like, look, I ain't finna play no games, man. I'm like, I'm like, what's happening, man? I'm with this shit tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm just basically telling her that, hey. You know, if you ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, then it, it's over with. And she like, I ain't playing with you. You got my number. You got my number. I'm like, okay, bet. So take my hand off her ass. And next thing you know, that's when I do that. And guys, that's what a, your call has been forwarded. So yeah. So understand, man, that they will bait you into giving them attention again. Guys, do not fall for it unless you know for a fact it's genuine unless you know for a fact that girl is finna pull up right now unless you know for a fact she's sending you the loan she like oh call me when when i when you're outside that, that girl didn't tell me that that's how you know when she's not playing but she's gonna bait you again guys and she's gonna act like nothing ever happened in person because they want to keep getting that attention they want to keep getting it you know what i'm saying and last they will come back when they realize you and they be like, man, you know what? This guy is so fine. Why did I reject him? Why did I reject him, man? This guy, this guy is fine. Why, why did I even do that? They'll come back to you and they won't be playing this time, guys. They'll come back and they'll realize that, hey, I should have never rejected this guy to begin with, man. This guy is actually attractive. He's actually hot. He's actually sexy. And they'll, they'll legit make it up to you, man. They'll legit do whatever they have to do to make it up. But, yeah, guys, these are weird things that women do to handsome men or attractive men after they reject them. Make sure you guys like the video, and I'm out.